Hello, Musto0063 back for part three of I Wanna Go the Jump or Referential. Uh, last time I cleared stage two, we had got introduced to three new gimmicks the uh, low gravity or high jump, um, the um, high gravity or low jump, and the gravity flip um, refresher gimmicks. So, uh, yeah, let's kind of uh, just press on with stage three and uh, immediately get introduced to this teleport gimmick. So I know someone who uh, wouldn't enjoy this one very much, but uh, <laughs> based on our co-op uh, Let's Plays, but uh, yeah, this is kind of, again, a very fun one. So uh, it is a bit, it is very, it is, um, you know, kind of hard to, to get the hang of initially. And uh, yeah, I must admit when I, I say it, it, it's not been quite, you know, been not been that long since I uh, played the game for, for the first time. I think it was sort of uh, early December. And yeah, I will confess that this one took me quite a while um, you know, to, to, to get to grips with, but um, once you uh, have kind of uh, got to grips with it, it's a, it's a very fun one. So uh, the idea being that uh, you get a um, sort of um, indicator for where the kid is going to is going to uh, teleport in. So you also need to make sure that you just keep the kid alive long enough um, for you to get that uh, teleport uh, teleporter to where you need it to be on the next screen. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, make sure you teleport into the next screen in a safe place, so that you're not, uh, you know, not going to run into a wall or into spikes or or, 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 or such. So, uh, oh, what is that final jump? That was just terrible. Um, and again, you can already see that. Uh, well, we've got the uh, gravity flipping here. You can see uh, see on the, just the bit where I actually uh, failed. Uh, wow, that was terrible as well. Uh, we've got the. Um, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, we've got the uh, low gravity uh, high jump gimmick. So, uh, yeah, we've got the uh, a lot of the uh, gimmicks in play from, uh, from whatever stages, which is, uh, which, is, which is nice. Okay, so up here first off. And now I want to not do that. Uh, I need to, uh, oh, yeah, okay, so I need to collect both of these, I think, and then teleport in up there. Yeah, I've got that sorted. Ah, I did it. Uh, unfortunately, what I whoops too early with the jump. I need to make sure both the uh, all the refreshes are so both fall back in. Um, there's a lot on this screen that's sort of, um, oh, sorry, this stage that's sort of a react. That's almost going to be a bit reactive to something that happens. Uh, you know, you're, you're sort of transitioning from screen to screen, and certainly the first time you do it, you're 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 you're, you're not going to have a clue where to go, so your reflexes are going to be you know just completely shot. Um, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of um, sort of not really being able to stand on solid ground now, so uh, yeah, it's kind of having to really kind of uh, pay attention. And in fact, if I stop here to put to, to look ahead to where I need to go uh, towards get to the next save, just to get that kind of clear in my mind, yeah, there's going to be a lot of um, damn it. Uh, yeah, particularly I think on this on this stage where uh, you're going to be sort of uh, spawning into another screen, and it's uh, yeah, for the first time that happens, you're going to be a bit stuffed uh, in terms of uh, you know, knowing exactly where you need to go, which is uh, a bit annoying, admittedly. But um, I don't think it's any it's it's anything uh, too too bad. That lo the last bit I actually find is the uh, most tricky bit of getting to this next save. So. Uh, yeah, pulling that off. There's um, you've got you have to get over a fair number of spikes at the end there to reach the save. So you definitely need to feel like you're far enough over to the left. But the problem is that um, the jump where you end up going uh, really high, you tend to end up kind of smacking against the ceiling, and that kind of uh, kills. Wow, kills your momentum a little bit. So you end up not going as far to the left as you need to. But um, yeah, just something to kind of bear in mind. Um, what also happened there, which uh, I complained a little bit about in uh, stage two, is I swear that I touched. Damn it! Uh, swear that I touched or pressed the uh, jump button after I collected the, uh, the gimmick, but again, apparently not. Oh, and there! I, I swear that I did. I jumped well before I hit the spikes there, but um, again, apparently not. But um, I'm t I tend I'm tend to sort of find this now that this is happening in all in all I want to be games. I play, I sort of know, there was a certain point when I start, sort of noticed it happening more and more, and I don't know whether I just thought it was that game or so, but yeah, no, it, is, it does just seem to be happening to me more and more now, so I don't know whether it's uh, just my eyesight or, or what, really, but um, yeah, I, I, w I would swear blind that I have pressed uh, a button before 
something has happened. Either either I've hit a spike or or indeed after I've hit a hit a, a double jump replenisher, but apparently it was before. So yeah, anyway. I should really stop moaning. <laughs> right, let's progress on. Uh, okay, so that's going to cancel my jump, and that's going to give me a big jump. And I'm going to need to avoid the uh, jump canceller on uh, to lower to my right, collect the one that gives me my double jump back, and then use that to jump over to the left. Okay. I'm going to need to not um, stupidly, what the hell, uh, careening to that spike on the drop down. What? Seriously? That's terrible timing. Terrible, terrible timing. There we go. Nicely done. If I do say so myself. Okay, so now it looks like we're going to be going over to the right-hand side of the screen. I can't remember exactly what's on the next screen, so okay, fine. It's relative safety, so nothing too dickish there. Okay, so big jump. Grab the flipper, flipping one, and then teleport like mad. Gotcha. <sighs> but don't jump so high that I, uh, yeah, hit that spike. Ah, don't do it twice! I was about to say at least getting to that point seems uh, fairly straightforward, but um, yeah, I'll shut up on that point. I mean, it does seem admittedly not that bad, so uh, yeah, that was too low, because uh, of course what happens is uh, I'm jumping too high and I'm feeling like I need to uh, yeah, overcompensate. <sighs> so yeah, anyway, hopefully I've got the um, timing and the positioning sorted out now. Oh, one thing that's definitely worth mentioning is um, I do sometimes find, again, it sort of seems to be a reactionary thing, um, that... I'm facing the wrong way uh, when I want to teleport. So, uh, like I'll be, you know, when I want to be facing to the left, like I, but then immediately having done so, I want to sort of face to the right. That I'll apparently press the right button before I hit the, um, you know, the jump button, which will teleport me, and I end up just the teleporter not working because apparently I was facing in, in the wrong direction. That I pressed the directional button before I pressed the jump button, and, uh, and that was uh, screwing me up. But um, yeah, that's going to happen. Well, hopefully it doesn't happen a lot, but uh, yeah, I um, I imagine it probably will. It's another one of my uh, common uh, bugbears. Or at least it was when I was playing through this the first time. I cannot seem to get this right at all at the moment. Either the the vertical positioning or indeed the horizontal positioning. Because, yeah, because I'm like too far, or not enough far enough over to the right hand side um, to, be able to, to be able to collect the teleporter get, uh, icon and get far enough over to the right that I wouldn't then teleport into the wall. But yeah, I can't seem to get my positioning right here at all. Thank God I didn't mess that up. Yeah, that teleport there actually turned out to be quite uh, fun since I only did have to do it once and thankfully I cleared that little uh, Christmas tree kind of jump. Not as bad as certainly some of the Christmas tree formations or what I dubbed the Christmas tree formations, but still, I'd have been very annoyed if I died on that, particularly since there's no jump refresher gimmicks. It's just regular platforming. That's not to say it's easy, but still. Okay, I'm going to need to keep my uh, to keep my double jump here, aren't I, for that. And that's way, way, way too early. There we go. Uh, okay. Oh, this jump, by the way. Yeah, that's going to be a thing. I remember that causing me an awful lot of trouble. And again, it's one of those ones that if I, if I were right side up, I, I mean, I don't, it's not a gimme, don't, don't, don't get me wrong, but I reckon I wouldn't die nearly a, te a tenth of the time I would do trying to dropping down as I would do uh, upside down trying to pull, pull this off. I remember that correctly, yes! Okay, brilliant. Didn't have to. And that's again. That, that's in some. It could be a bit of a dickish kind of area. That you get the double. You get the gravity flipping one. You fall down a fairly long spike shelf, and you have to time it really well. Obviously, not too early. Otherwise, you just you won't make it, and you'll fall back down. But not so late that you hit any of the spikes on the ceiling there. So uh, yeah, very pleased I pulled that off first go. 
Okay, moving on. Uh, we have to teleport in there by the look of it, if I remember this correctly. I can't actually see at the moment anywhere else I could teleport, so uh, yeah, I presume that it's in there. Was I in the right position, though, for actually teleporting in there? Do I need to be that far over to the left? Yes, I do need to be that far over to the left. Okay. Wow! What was that? It's just terrible. That was appalling as well. Just walking straight into spikes. Mini spikes, admittedly, whose hitboxes I never like, but still, no real excuse. Oh, but of course, now I'm so paranoid about potentially walking again. It's it's the the the, the overcompensation for something when it when it goes wrong is just phenomenal. So now I'm worried about being what the hell um, too far over to the left and walking into the spikes. That I'm now being too far over to the right and actually jumping into the spikes on the ceiling instead. So uh, yeah, the overcompensation just. <laughs> Brilliant. I don't know why I dropped down there. I thought I hadn't made it, and then I actually I had made it. So, uh, yeah, blimey. Terrible. Okay, so we have to collect the double jump and then make it over to the left. That was bad. I need to be a lot lower down uh, than that when trying to pull that jump off. Don't walk into spikes. Terrible. Literally, just... Awful. There we go. Okay, so I need to grab the flipper, grab the flipping thing, and then uh, effectively head down toward the save, I suppose. Gotcha. Brilliant. I'll take that any day of the week. Okay, so we're going to grab the teleporter and then the big jump, so I'm going to have to loop back round to the right. That's not good. Not that quick. Uh, okay, so I need to grab the. I need to go up to the up up a bit. On that one. Yeah. Uh, well, you got the idea, I think. Okay, so I need to grab the bo jump boost, then the teleporter, and then jump over to the left. And that's me. That's me. Now, admittedly, this screen, or this, uh, that, that save bit is, uh, is uh, pretty straightforward, I have to say, in the grand scheme of uh, probably this, this stage. But, um, yeah, I could have done without the uh, screw you spike uh, waiting for me there on the very edge of the next screen. That um, feels a little bit unnecessary. Um, but anyway, hey-ho, let's uh, press on. Um, I pulled it off first go, but this first jump actually looks kind of tricky. Another one of those ones where you have to not hit your head on the ceiling, or you're going to be uh, and get and get, but get quite a lot of height, or you're going to be um, screwed. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm guessing I need to be right side up at the top, but that means I have to use this twice. Okay, a bit more, a bit another kind of a dickish one, but okay, there are spikes on the left uh, left wall, so I just need to stay on the right hand side. Okay. And I don't think I was in danger there of hitting the spikes on the ceiling, but um, yeah. Damn it, I knew I was going to do that. Anyway, I'm having fun again. This is, as I say, it's. I do like the teleporter. <laughs> having fun for the most part. <laughs> I do like the uh, teleporter gimmick. As I say, it took me uh, quite a while to get used to it. Um, uh, first time around, it's uh, yeah, not the most, uh, well, not the easiest thing <laughs> to control. But um, yeah, once you do kind of uh, get the hang of it, um, yeah, I find it uh, a lot of fun. Probably one of my, the, my one of the most fun ones uh, uh, in the game, actually. There we go. Not so bad. 
Um, okay. Getting a little bit ahead of myself, but it uh, looks like we've got uh, being introduced to the uh, head to certain areas to, to click an icon or to, yeah, to touch an icon to open up a path somewhere. So uh, look forward to that. Damn it! That was so nearly brilliant. Having only got, yeah, you know, having only got there effectively on my first go. Yeah, after getting here. Yeah, and of course, yeah, next go, look at that. Just, just jump straight into a, um, yeah, spine. Um, I would say that, again, being upside down for that bit does make this whole section uh, trickier, because, again, just the judgement I, I find when I, have, when I have to do those kind of things is just ends up being... Mr. 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 Refresher! Ends up just being, yeah, so much more awkwardly awkward to time when you're upside down, but, um, oh well. This first jump, by the way, is uh, kind of irritating. To trying to get enough distance... Um, so that you hit, hit the uh, again, look at well, I'll come back, I'll come back, I'll come back to that in a moment, but uh, yeah, enough distance so you don't hit that spike, but also that you jump high enough, or so you jump high enough to make it that far, but that you don't jump so high that you hit the spikes on the ceiling. I this first, um, yeah, this first flip, um, is actually kind of a uh, tricky, but anyway. What happened uh, over there on the left-hand side of the screen is what I was referring to earlier, where apparently I pressed the um, directional button, and it happened again, so I pressed right there before I'd uh, pressed jump uh, to activate the teleport gimmick. So uh, instead of teleporting to the left, which is where I wanted to go, I teleported to the right, which is where I didn't want to go. Bother! Okay, so once I get all that up the top there, there's a teleporter that I just need to use to get over the spike right at the top, and a normal jump refresher to get to the next save. Okay, the top bit doesn't look so bad uh, if you can get there, but uh, yeah, using the um, the low gravity ones or the high jump ones uh, to get through this sort of spike weaving, weaving bit is uh, easier said than done. And uh, yeah, there we go. Nah. Getting closer, but not quite not quite there yet and I had no words at all for that death. That was just blare. I think we must be approaching near the end of this stage. No! I've moved too far over to the right! Once I've collected the teleporter. Okay, so hang back to the left. Don't be quite so far over to the right. Once you collect that teleporter, okay. I did it again! I don't know what on earth I'm doing. Just hug, hug the left wall. There's no spike there that you're going to run into unless you continuously hug the wall. But in order just to not hit that spike that I'm really stupidly dying on, just hug the left wall. No excuse for that at all. Yeah, hug the wall, blimey. Oh, I was too far over to the left there, amazingly. Okay, so there's a little bit of a... Uh, which actually is not, it's not too surprising. It's the uh, classic uh, overcompensation thing. It was me deliberately trying to not be... Yes, too far over to the right. So, uh, yeah, that being too far over to the left. But oh well. Right. That's... No, hang on. No. Stop facing the wrong way. Thank you, that's what I want. Well, obviously not exactly that, but uh, yeah, along those lines. So, yeah. oh, come on. Teleport in. Stop it. Teleport in there. Flip and flip again. Right. And a lovely little uh, gate jump to pull off. It's not so bad on the way to get the icon, but... Um, yeah, that, well, that manoeuvre I'm not so fond of, so, um, yeah. Damn it, too early with the jump. Blast it. And yeah, you're getting a flavour of how often it happens that I end up facing the wrong way after teleporting. It's just, uh, again, oh, I didn't hit, I didn't jump. And again, it happened, so, yeah, that's... Yeah, it's um, 
I would say a definite, well, yeah, a definite cause of irritation because, um, gotcha. I would say I'm not, uh, yeah, not, uh, not, yeah, not facing the wrong way. And yeah, as for actually, uh, yeah, I'm relieved of that auto saves. <laughs> As for a uh, yeah sort of token fun state end to stage two, actually we didn't have one. I thought we had one for uh, for all of them. I know there's definitely one at the end of this stage, stage four, and of course there was one at stage in the stage two. But there was a kind of a again a sort of a well that was a nothing screen really there at the end of stage three, just a couple of uh, spike pillars to jump over, and then a, um, a gravity flipper, which um, yeah takes you into the next next stage without an immediate save. Although yeah again, although you might die as I did there, um, <laughs> thankfully it does auto save. Although. Admittedly, even if it didn't, there was a save on the nothing screen previous, so I really wouldn't have minded that much, to be honest. But anyway, uh, stage three done. I think we only got introduced to the uh, one extra uh, new, new gimmick on stage three, which was the teleporter. But uh, yeah, a very fun, uh, interesting gimmick. One that it definitely takes a while to get used to, but um, yeah, once you have got used to it, uh, well, I certainly find, think it's one of the most enjoyable ones uh, uh, of the game. Although I certainly know some people who wouldn't agree with me on that. <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, I guess I shall leave it there uh, that's, uh, for part three, uh, stage three uh, completely done. And uh, yeah, next time we'll pick it up. Uh, let's pick it up with stage four. Uh, so hope to see you uh, uh, for that, where we'll be introduced to yet uh, yet more new refresher gimmicks. Cheerio.